Hi, this is Annette, and this is how to make message in a bottle lamp. Um, I had a beach themed home and was trying to find something that would be suited to our decor. So here I'm taking um, paper, it's drawing paper, and I'm staining it with coffee. And in this particular case, it's Starbucks um, caramel vanilla coffee, which smelled absolutely wonderful. Normally would not use that on staining paper. I would use it cheaper, but this was the only coffee, instant coffee I had at this time, so I used that. And staining it all up, and on the parchment paper, if you raise up the paper a couple times, it creates this wonderful texture. So this is the sand I'm going to fill my bottle with, and this is Siesta Key, Florida sand, which I love Siesta Key. It's one of my favorite beaches in the all, all the time in the world, and it's the sugar sand, powdery sugar sand. It's beautiful, white sand. So if you've never been there, I highly recommend going. So I filled my bottle with our Siesta Key sand, and here I've, I've collected seashells and little sand dollars on the beach. And in this particular case, I had collected sea, uh, little sand dollars that while walking on the beach or swimming and snorkeling had found. And for Christmas last year, I wrote all the family's names on our sand dollars and put little faux pearls on them. So I thought this is a good chance to reuse those little sand dollars. So I stuck them all in the base of this lamp in my bottle. So here I'm gonna write my message here to stick in my bottle. And my message says, to womb ever finds this bottle. We are stranded on a desert island. Much adventure to be found here. Please don't rescue us for we have found paradise. If you too wish to live in paradise, we would love for you to join us. Just sail south. Forever happy in paradise, the Broy castaways. So then I printed it off on my coffee stained paper and then now I'm st I took a rag and I dipped it in some Pantene acrylic paint and I'm just staining the edges up because this is a color that matches the decor in my house I'm just trying to match my house at this point and plus it gives it a nice antique look once it's dry now I'm taking a lighter I'm having difficulty with my lighter here but I'm taking a lighter and burn the edges of my note just to give it a more rustic feel to this note makes it look a little more aged and then I roll my note up give it a little twist and then I take some jute and I wrap the jute around my note and tie it very good this was a fun lamp to make it was a it was a great project because it has all our kids in our lamp on the little sand dollars inside and then our little note Okay, so now here I take jute and I wrap it around the top of the bottle here just to give it more texture in on the lamp here. So I'm wrapping it, winding it around, and then I give it a tie in the back to tie the jute on. And then I take another sand dollar that I had found. I found so many sand dollars. I've decorated an entire Christmas tree with sand dollars. So here I wanted to do a Florida themed lamp. So I had picked up a Florida map, but then I thought, eh, no, I don't like it. Um, looks too much like a tourist gift. So I took the, the map off. I was gonna Mod Podge it onto the lampshade. So here I wrap jute around the lamp and I'm gonna do more of a coffee stain because I just love that old coffee stain look. And I take a rag and wad it all up and I dip it in my coffee stain. And as you can see here now, I bought me some cheap dollar store um, instant coffee, put it in some water, dip my rag in and start just dabbing at the um, lampshade with the jute in place. Now I'm going to cut my jute off, and unbeknownst to me, which was a good thing, the fabric kept bleeding the coffee through, so it, it wasn't quite so variegated um, And in the end once it dried. So then I take some more of my acrylic painting paint, and I dip the jute in this paint here, and roll it around in the paint. And you can't see right off the bat, but here I'll... The, the camera will move up just slightly here in just a minute, but what I'm doing is I'm rolling the jute in this paint and I'm trimming the edges of my lamp. This also pulls out the color in the note that's inside, also pulling out the colors that I use, that I'm using in my living room at this time. Just kind of a nice, kind of a blue gray. So then I'm adding all sorts of touches here, um, this lamp here with this. Just kind of trying to make it give you the feel that 
Um, this is an old map that's been stored, wrapped up, and faded and aged with the line still in it. So I'm take a coffee cup now, and I'm just wanting to create some textures with it. So I dip the coffee cup and place it on the lamp to create a little more variegated edges with the coffee stains. So now I'm putting my compass on the old map. I wanted to give this an old map, old world feeling here. So the, the camera's a little blurry and I'm not sure why it wasn't focusing in, so I apologize for the blurry filming. But here I'm making a compass, an old time compass for my little treasure, like a treasure map. I wanted it to look like an old treasure map. We were lost at sea here with our map. So there's my compass, and now I'm drawing our path, our path that we took to our stranded little island, and now I'm going to draw our little island on our treasure map. And there I'm drawing a palm tree, and a little coconut on the palm tree, can't hardly see it, and then I draw my island and the X marks the spot. So I'm not naming the island because we are lost in paradise, so I guess if we were to call the island anything, it would be paradise. And just giving it a few little accent touches with um, dark blue and a little black, I believe. So there it is, my lampshade with the variegated colors, and there's the finished product. And I placed the lampshade up, or lamp, against a um, seagrass uh, wallpaper, so that's what the seagrass is behind it. It's actually glass lamp with sea in the seagrass. So there's my, my finished lamp with it lit up. And then there's the lamp unlit during the daytime, what it looks like. So there it is, message in a bottle lamp. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Namaste and blessings.